various companies and, and crypto organizations are going to work together to distribute uh, free Bitcoin to 70,000 people on an island nation in the Caribbean Sea. This nation is called Dominica, not to be confused with the Dominican Republic. It's its own country. Um, so Dominican, Dominica citizens, 70,000 of them, over 70,000, will get free Bitcoin. Each one will get is planned to get at least $10 worth of free Bitcoin. And uh, uh, Coinapult, which is Eric Voorhees' company, um, Coinapult is going to help distribute this via SMS, which is text message on, on cell phones. So I guess the vast majority of people on this island have cell phones. They'll be able to get this text message with free Bitcoin. And uh, this event is called the Bit Drop. <laughs> clever, kind of a clever name. <laughs> And uh, they're basically gonna they're gonna throw like a party um, on the island where people can go and spend their their new Bitcoin. And there's gonna be like educational seminars for people who want to learn about Bitcoin. And they're also gonna try and get a bunch of merchants on board on the island to accept Bitcoin. So the idea is like all these people who have never been introduced to Bitcoin before get Bitcoin, and now they ha have a an avenue to spend it on a bunch of different places on this one island and they're trying to create like a, a brand new Bitcoin haven on this small island country. So uh, um, fascinating, fascinating experiment. Um, I don't know if it's going to uh, promote adoption that much unless they are really, really good at educating all these people um, and, and getting like somehow getting like, 99% of merchants on board with this. But it's a very interesting ex experiment and it's and it's going to go down um it's going to go down on um March 14th, uh 2015. And uh and they're raising money now. They're starting to raise money. It was just announced this week and they're going to start raising money for this. Um um banksworstfear.com, which is uh one of the websites that is helping to promote to promote this. They're going to match up to a thousand dollars in donations to this experiment and um i personally am not planning to donate any of this to this because i would rather donate uh free bitcoin to an actual charitable event instead of donating to people on an island to have a party but um it'll be interesting to, fi to find out if it's if it's gonna um get like a, a like a majority of the people on this island to be using Bitcoin and like maybe possibly creating their own mini like economy on this island. So uh, what do you what do you think? So the main focus of the story seems to be the party and the free Bitcoin. Like I'm looking at the CoinDesk article right now and the headline is 70,000 Caribbean island residents to receive Bitcoin in 2015. And then, you know, like the second sentence is about the party um yes. it's just it's a clear it's it's an obvious marketing ploy for all the companies involved in organizing it because uh, i mean let's be honest they're getting these people are getting ten dollars in bitcoin uh they're gonna go to the party and uh basically they're just gonna use it as like a free drink ticket they're gonna buy a couple mm -hmm. drinks um, their their ten dollars is going to be gone, you know, back, and it's going to go back to the organization. Back to the organiza organizers, yeah. Yeah, like you like you you brought that up uh, before we started recording. It's just going to go back to the organization that is putting this whole thing on. I think where the real story lies is what they're doing, kind of behind the scenes, because um, you know they're they're having all these uh, educational seminars at the party, but then also. Also, if um, once this whole like party thing is over, they're planning on uh, trying to further educate people, and uh, they're also bringing in uh, infrastructure, Bitcoin infrastructure for free. Like they're going to be providing merchants with uh, with uh, point, of, point sale. of sale systems, and they're going to be installing uh, ATMs. So, I, and I think that is the most important part of this project because um, since they're doing it through through SMS, since they're giving these people the free Bitcoins or SMS, obviously it's not a very technologically advanced place, and so a lot of them are probably unbanked as well. So mm -hmm. the party, I think, is completely like a 100% total marketing ploy uh, 
trying to create this fun thing that a lot of people will donate to. Um, the real positive is what's going on behind the scenes with the education, um, the building the Bitcoin infrastructure, and helping out the un hopefully helping out the unbanked if they can um, turn this into an actual uh, functioning economy. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, that goes back to like a topic that we talked about last week. Um, that like Bitcoin is basically a learning experience for a lot of people. No matter how involved you are in Bitcoin, there's probably like a lot more you can learn. But then the hardest part is like getting people involved in the first place who know nothing about it and getting them to like learn the basics and stuff. And like if if uh, if this Dominica experiment can help do that for like thousands of people, that is a pretty good development. That is pretty good um, progress towards um spreading awareness at the very least like that's i think that's one of the best ways to spread bitcoin awareness is like you can you can you can spread all the articles and like guides and videos all you want but like probably the best way to get someone to learn about how to use bitcoin is to give them some of it and you know educate them about how to use it once they have it you know um so like hopefully I'm hoping that like uh it won't just be an SMS on their phones like it'll also come with like a little miniature guide telling them if you want to withdraw it to like if you have a smartphone you can download the blockchain app and download it to to your to your own wallet and it doesn't have to sit you know on the cell phone server or whatever like I don't know maybe Coinpool has all of that stuff on their on their servers but yeah give it to them for free and teach them how to use it and they'll learn and you know i guess the idea is like if even if they spend that ten dollars worth of bitcoin on drinks hopefully they know enough about it and are interested in, in it enough to um to possibly buy more maybe buy more from coinapult directly you know support their business and uh and get those people involved in the bitcoin economy through this experiment yeah definitely the the main way to spread Bitcoin acceptance and awareness is through education. Uh, like, you're not realistically, Bitcoin's never going to become legal tender, so we're not going to have governments forcing people to use Bitcoin. You're not going to centrally plan a Bitcoin economy. Um, you, you can't even centrally plan, you know, a regular economy. That's you know failing miserably right now. Um, the best way to get people to use it is to just um, teach them about it and convince them that it's worthwhile. And then, um, you know, it'll kind of take care of itself. Like, like, you know, the market will do its thing. Mm -hmm. you, you're not going to, you can try all you want to, like, plan things out and, you know, try to jumpstart things. But it's just, it's not going to happen. None of it is going to happen unless people understand what it is and they want it. So, um, yeah, that's what I think about it. I don't think the... It's not going to be a silver bullet, right? It's not going to be a yeah. magic thing that instantly creates a Bitcoin haven in one fell swoop. Yeah, the party's not going to do anything. Um, you know, at, at the most, they're just going to buy drinks with it and they'll at least get to see how it works through the SMS system because they'll have to, like, you know, actually send the Bitcoin. Um, so I guess that could be kind of an educational experience because, you know, you're at least using it. But, um, as far as like giving people ten dollars in Bitcoin and telling them to come spend it at a party, it's not going to be very productive. Nowhere near as productive as um, the actual educational things are going to be. 